it's always so much fun when you can go online on Facebook Marketplace and find a ton of really old cars that somebody is selling for pretty cheap, and then you just go to their house and you pick them up. You know, it's something that I've done very few times. In fact, I've only ever went to someone's house to pick them up one time, but I did get a big Cars 2 diecast lot. I think it was like late last year around Halloween time. Yeah, it was. And that was really cool. But you never really know how the cars are going to be. You know, I ended up realizing that a lot of those ones were damaged and just like stained with dust. I couldn't even get some of the dust off the plastic of the packages. It was kind of gross. But luckily today I have a much, I wouldn't say better a lot, but maybe a little bit better of a lot. But either way, they are in better condition for sure. So welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. Of course, today I had this awesome lot of die cast from Facebook Marketplace. I traveled like an hour away to get these guys on multiple occasions. Let's go back to the two cars that I got first. And that was like a week before I got the other cars. The reason I made two trips is because I just wanted to go to Chatham because it's a fun little town that I really have never been to very much like the shop and stuff at Walmart and stuff like that. So I wanted to go and then I looked online on Facebook Marketplace and I saw the seller was selling these two cars. We got a lenticularized DJ and a lenticularized Sarge. So I'm like, I can't pass those up. 2010 cars, they're $5 each, get both for 10. I'm like, that's a great deal. But then I'm going home, right? I'm not driving, I'm just in the back seat. And I'm looking on the seller's other listings that he has, and I see this. It's a lenticular eyes Lightning McQueen with Rusty's can. And then I start seeing more things and more things, and I'm like, what in the world? This guy has more cars, and I just bought two from him. I could have bought so many more. So luckily, I was going camping the week after. I went back, and I picked up all the rest of the cars that he had, or so like one of each of all of them two of this one because I wanted to open one but I don't know why it's like five or ten of each car I don't really know why I don't know where he got them all from <laughs> maybe a little bit suspicious it might be but not really because I don't know maybe he just had I don't know <laughs> maybe he bought like multiple old cases and then he just sold out of some of the good ones but DJ's a good one so I'm surprised he still has like five left of him kind of random maybe he got them from like a store that closed a long time ago like the bargain shop here in Canada or, I don't know, Target. No, he wouldn't, they wouldn't have had these old cars. But anyways, let's start off. I want to show you guys all the cars I got, starting with Lenticular Eyes DJ. As you guys can see, he does have Lenticular Eyes. Pretty cool. Looks from the left side to the right side. I like that a lot. And I realized that his visor is like a separate little plastic piece. It's not like uh, connected to the main male body like on the regular diecast. And it does look more accurate to how he looks in the movie. So that's kind of a win, I think. Now, they're all, for the most part, on international card. So uh, the name tags here aren't really name tags. They just have the number of the car from the series they're in. So 52 from, I don't know, the Interstate series, I guess it was called. They don't really give it a name. They just have little symbols for each series, but I'll call it the Interstate series. And then we have an artwork of DJ, the same one as we can see here on the back of the card. On this little name tag here so it's not even a name tag i don't really get why it must be because yeah i guess that's probably why they're pretty small little name tags maybe they just figured if we're going to translate the name if we have to do that then we're going to like have no room so i guess that's probably why and it says her name on the back anyways then it says look my eyes change actually no it doesn't it just says look what in the world it's just look in a bunch of different languages see that's why i didn't like like this international packaging back in the day and luckily they don't well, they still use it. They just use it like standardized for all, even the Americans' cards. And they just put multiple languages on like all of them, which sucks. They still have international packaging, but it's not the same. You know, it still has all the different languages, but it's like just like no card shown on the card back here. Like they didn't do that anyway. So I don't know. The card itself being on international packaging is not as pretty as it would be if it wasn't on international packaging. Anyways, you can see on the back though, DJ's other side his left side so that's cool that's why i love about these little windows on the backs of these packages i really do like these 2010 lenticulars for that reason alone and then we actually have a poster in there too which is really cool the name takes like pushed back unfortunately but other than that he's in perfect condition so that's really really cool dj was like the one car i really really wanted when i first saw him in the search he came with him so it's like 
and might as well get stars. You know, he does have a cool little lenticular eye feature. I'm not going to be opening any of these because I don't see a point in opening lenticular cars. I already have the regular versions open on my shelf, so, you know, I mean, I can play with them just like this, <laughs> just fine in the package. So, I don't know. I don't really have much room left anyway to display them. But yeah, Sarge is number 30 in the Radiator Spring series. There's his artwork down there, little artwork and big artwork. <laughs> I actually did used to have one of the few lenticulars that I had as a kid was Pick Remember Sarge. And I still have them, but unfortunately the red thing broke off of them. I'd love to see the posters, though, that they include. I think that'd be cool to see. But oh well. Yeah, I just don't like the international cards all that much. You know, just seeing the name in multiple languages and like all the legal jargon stuff, the barcode like moved up. It just looks weird, but it is really cool that you can see like through this side. That's something that I wish they do nowadays, but they really have never done something like this outside of the lenticulars line. Now, I guess we can just continue moving on with lenticular stuff. I'm not doing these in order of when they were released. But look how cool this is. This is the Lenticular Eyes Axle Accelerator, number 58 from like the 95, I guess, series. Now, he's just one of the cop cars, the Highway Patrol cop cars. As you can see right there, it's his Highway Patrol that we see in the first Cars movie, who is like escorting McQueen and Mac out of the Motor Speedway of the South Racetrack. Now, just a weird car to get as a Lenticulars <laughs> release, but he's pretty cool. Looks from one side to the other. Looks more like confused when he's looking to the right than this side. It just looks kind of like pretty mellow. But this is a one that I pay a little bit more for. is like about $9 because I had the lot up for like, it was about, mm, I think it was like at 75 or was it 81? It was 76 I had it at. And then he tacked on this extra like little, web I bought a few Webkins from him. I couldn't resist. I used to love Webkins toys. I don't know if you know what they are. Just little stuffed animals that have little codes and you can play with them online. I couldn't resist. I had to buy a few from because I saw he had those too. That was another reason that influenced me going back to the seller to buy more cars too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had it up to like 81. And then he's like, you know what? I have these two other cars. It's TJ and Axle Accelerator. I wasn't going to say anything because they're more money. I didn't think you want to buy them. But hey, if I'll put it out there. $100 for everything if you take these two as well. And I'm like done <laughs> i really would love these cars i don't know why you didn't tell me about them in the first place but i guess you just figured they were too much for me but like nine dollars about give or take for each one <laughs> i don't think that's that bad i guess they're a little bit more rare so that's why he decided to charge a little bit more from every other car it was like five dollars except for this big guy right here who was 10 also but like great deals all around a really really reasonable seller i really like them a lot axle accelerator and i went and he had like this big curly mustache <laughs> i hope he's not watching this <laughs> well i guess i am saying good stuff about him but yeah i went and he had like he just seemed like i don't know he looks like one of those classic villains from like uh an old batman movie or something but he was like the nicest guy ever <laughs> it was really fun to go to him but should i show you dj right now i guess i will because i got him with the axle accelerator so i'll show you a tj right now it's funny how i got dj and tj in the same lot now this is the underscaled tj from 2007, which they did exclusive to Walmart. Remember, I was just talking about this whole exclusive line of eight cars because I just reviewed Cactus Lady McQueen, the new version of him from Thailand. So I was talking about this. It's so funny how I have one now carded. So awesome. Now, I did actually have this one before. I do have this one open in my collection, but I opened it, obviously, so it's not carded. And it's just a beautiful looking card because it's the Movie Moments line. I just love it, but they don't actually like, call it Movie Moments in this line this is like the first time they ever did movie moments really they just didn't really call it that but i mean that's what it is you know it's showing a screen it's the motor speedway of the south actual uh screen from the movie and they just you know put a screenshot from the car's epilogue scene where tj appears at and sarge is telling him what to do also funny how i got sarge and tj in the same lot of course that's really funny <laughs> anyways though yeah this is too small to be tj but still cool ow still cool how they did them, I think. I really do like this line. Ghostlight, Ramon, Cactus McQueen, Barney Storm, and Elf, the Lightyear Blimp, TJ, Bruiser Bukowski, Corey Turbowitz, and Piston Cut Pace Car. They didn't even call Charlie Checker by his name. He didn't have a name back then. I didn't even know that. Look for and cool and what? Look for and cool 
collectible characters from the hit Disney Pixar movie Cars. Now available first at Walmart. Why did they they screw it up? They wrote look for and cool cars. Should be look for more. I don't know, maybe fun and cool. And I don't know, actually. I don't know what they did. It should just be look for more cool and... Yeah, that's what it should be. Why they put a little and symbol? It should be more, not and. What the world? I don't really get what they did there. But anyways, <laughs> there's TJ for you. Probably my favorite one from the lot. And then here's another one I got. This is the Chase Lightning McQueen with oil can accessory thing that he has. And this one does have lenticular eyes as well. And this might just be the most international package you could ever get. I mean, it's got all the warning stickers and the multiple languages, the choking hazard. It's got the Chase logo in multiple languages. It's got no name tag down here. Like, and the artwork is just insanely small. But, you know, it's just what they do when they need to fill it up with writing of multiple different languages. You know, it's annoying, but whatever. At least I can open one of this guy because I don't have them opened. I really would like to get that oil can accessory open. So I am glad that the seller had two of this guy. He actually had five, like I said, or maybe even more than that, I think. <laughs> but I just got two. 128 from the Piston Cup series. Very, very nice. Cool expression, though. Don't want to show them off too much because I do want to review them, like I said. But I just think that's really cool how he has the oil can and the lenticular eyes. So it really is a new car. But they just call him Rusty Lane McQueen for some reason on the back. Could have sworn they called him Lightning McQueen with oil can or Rusty's can or something like that. But I don't know. Anyways, I did get two, as you guys can see. But they're the exact same. A little bit, like, dusty maybe in the corners and stuff. But, oh well. I don't really care. The seller definitely kept them in a box for a long time. That's, I just really do wonder. I should have asked them, I guess. But, I don't know. I don't talk to people very much. <laughs> Hence the reason I left so soon after getting the first two cars i was like i was i was nervous to go i always am when i have to go to someone's house especially when i'm picking up something from them it's like i don't know i just i've heard about scams and stuff like that so you know i always tend to be cautious maybe a little too cautious but anyways here's skip Richter. he turned out to be such a great seller though super nice guy and uh, i definitely would recommend going to buy some cards from him because he has like all of these still available you can probably buy everything i bought for the most part at least Anyways, I hear Skip Richter, like, if Axel Accelerator didn't deserve a Color Changers release, I mean, sorry, Lenticular Eyes release, then Skip Richter definitely never deserved one. I mean, come on, who even is Skip Richter? Some kind of Piston Cup press member, but it's like, he didn't even have speaking lines, I don't think. So, one of the stupidest releases ever. But, he does look cool, looking off to one side and then another. Pretty nice, 103 from the 95 series. I like him, but just one of the more boring ones. I do actually have this guy. I got him. I don't know where. I must have got him loose. Oh, yeah, I got him from my cousin. That's where I got him from. But I do have him. Particular I skip opened up. It's loose, but it's all damaged. So I'm happy to have one in the package now. Pretty cool. And then next, we got some super old stuff from 2007. We got Mater and Lizzie from the Supercharged line. <laughs> very, very nice, I think, additions to the collection. We'll start with Mater who just looks so darn, like, vintage. I can't believe how old old Mater's look. Like, I don't even have a Mater that's quite this old. And I am very, very stunned to see, like, how white-colored he is. It's, like, a completely different color of brown. But it looks cool. I mean, I wouldn't say it looks, like, accurate to how it looks in the movie, but it is cool to see all the orange. just makes him look like a vintage toy. And I just think that's cool, because I don't think a car is as vintage, even the old ones. I mean, they seem old. Like, they're almost 20 years old when cars came out, so, I mean, I guess that's old, but they don't seem vintage to me, but, I mean, <laughs> they're getting there, because when, like, the Lion King turned 20 years old, I thought it was so old, you know, it's like, wow, it's been around so long, cars, I'm not feeling the same way, but I guess it's just because I'm older now. Anyways, supercharged line, this is just cool, that's why, like, I, the 20th anniversary is coming up, and I'm just so happy to have some classics from the Cars diecast line, because, I don't know, maybe the 20th anniversary will make some of these older cars get more rare and gain some value. Anyways, here is Lizzie, though. And I realized on the drive home that she actually has... Dun -dun -dun, zinc pest poisoning. Look at her. Her windows are, like, cracking. You can see the bottom of the window there. And mm, not really so much on the back. A little bit on the back window, though, right here. Like, the side back one. A little bit on the top, too, of that window. But yeah, she has zinc pest. They use zinc pest in her paint, and she is deteriorating. Like, all 
heck. I mean, just look at her hood, too. You can maybe see it bubbling a little bit. If you don't know what zinc paste is, it's something they put in the paint. I don't know why. It must have been some type of preservative, but they used to do it in, like, 2007. And, unfortunately, <laughs> these are 2007 cards. Or, actually, I think, fortunately, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool because it's just something that they don't do anymore. So, you know, it's kind of rare to get a zinc paste car, I would say. I think they're definitely worth a lot more than $5. So that's why I think it's cool. I never actually had one either. So I think that's really awesome. And look at the backs of these packages. I mean, I don't know why they're different. One must be international. One must not be. I think this must be. Oh, yeah, it has to be because there's multiple languages. It's kind of covered. On Mater from this Valley Village 199 sticker. I guess that's where he got him from originally. I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, but Lizzie, you can just see all the cars in the back. Like, look how many cars we got. How many? We got 5, 10, these are 4, uh, 15, 19, 23 cars on the back. Wow, that's a lot of cars. <laughs> I love how some of them aren't even like, oh, well, I don't know what they are. They're like just the old style of stock image. Where they use like a different material to make the cars. I forget what it was. It looks like clay almost. <laughs> so cool though. I think you can actually buy those prototypes somewhere if you're lucky enough. But anyways, yeah. Almost done the lot. Just have two more cars. And they're both from Cars 2. Starting off with Car Level So. Now this one I was really excited about. Because I've always wanted a Car Level Oso to open up from China. Now I, I do have one. But it's so damaged and she's like one of the only racers that I have left that I need a replacement for to open. So I may very well open this one eventually. But I don't know when exactly I will do that. Should I do it today on this video? <laughs> I don't want to. I really do want to. Hmm. Eh, maybe I will. Nah, I don't need a car to open. Like, I can get a Thailand one if I want to open, I guess. You know, this is kind of cool. It's an international car to Carla. But I was really close to opening her there for a second because i did on my cars 2 facebook Mario place haul video i did open some cars but they were like damaged like this is perfect condition so i'm sorry for teasing you guys but i just can't open car level low so especially because i only got one i should have just bought two i don't know why i didn't just i didn't want it to go over two or uh 100 i guess but yeah she's number eight from the cars 2 series she doesn't have a series because she's from cars 2 and then this is international cards so yeah kind of ugly on the back we just have an image of carla's prototype or a stock image i guess but oh well you know i would have preferred some like different cars shown on the back but let's just not how they did it back then for international cards i don't remember i guess i didn't care about the packages on international cards look like that back in the day but i don't know anyways here's kingpin nabanaga or nobunaga however the heck you say it i don't even know but number five from the cars to deluxe line and once again, no name tag. It's just a little image of Pinion or Kingpin. No, this is this is Kingpin. Yeah, I'm getting confused because Pinion Tanaka is the blue one with the blue little like underwear thing, and then he is obviously the purple one. But he's cool. He looks awesome from the deluxe line. And I just thought, come on, ten dollars for this guy? That's a good price. On the back, no other car shown. But that's okay. We've expected it at this point. You know, we've come to just kind of accept that. That's how the cards are going to look. But anyways, try to do a nice big group shot here of all of our cars. Not the biggest table in the world, so it's going to be hard. But let me know in the comments below which car from the lot is your favorite. I think, honestly, my favorite one, it might just be Zinc Pest Lizzie. No, I don't know. It might be. I don't know. I'm really not sure, to be honest. I, it might just be like TJ. I think this is the one I'm most happy about having one in the package for now. Um, but the other ones are cool too. Like I love the 2010 style packaging with the city street background. So I don't know. It's it's definitely a hard one for me to choose. I guess I'll I'll choose TJ though on the movie moments card. I think that looks really really cool. And I'm really happy about this McQueen because I want to open him and review him soon. So look forward to that. Reviewing an old car like that and opening it like that's unheard of here on the Cars Garage. Not something that I've really ever done. <laughs> I don't think, uh, like for an actual review, I did open some Cars 2 cars from 2011, like I was saying on my last Facebook Marketplace haul, but yeah, it's, just, it's been a while. Anyways, though, thank you guys, as always, for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video, and with that, I will see you next time right here on the Cars Garage.